uh, to be honest, very hard. We mostly see them uh, in, in a touristic way. When we see them, let's say, on the internet, on your Instagram page, or somehow in the newspaper, we only see their best times. However, we have no idea what they are doing at nights, in the winter, when it rains, when they are hungry, when they cannot find water. Uh, Turkey is an exceptional country who keeps stray animals on the streets. Uh, on the other hand, when you check the uh, Western countries, you don't see any stray animals. You cannot see in States, in Canada, in Germany, no, no other place. When, when somebody sees a stray animal or uncontrolled animal, probably it's euthanized in a couple of weeks. In Turkey, as we are, we are defending the animal rights uh, advocates, animal rights defenders, we do not want our animals even if they are, you know, in, in street, to be put them down. We don't want them. Uh, however, the people in Turkey mostly do not want to want those animals to adapt to inside their houses. That's a dilemma. They want to keep them on the street somehow, but they don't want to adapt. Maybe it's because of their culture. Maybe it's because the city is not, you know, giving you permission to adapt them. Because if you have an animal, you have to keep it not in a single dwelling, probably in an apartment. And in the apartment, it's really hard because you have to take, especially to a dog, uh, for a walking. And you don't have, you know, walking areas, parks, green areas. So it needs a lot of responsibility. So I think people tend to feed them or giving water them on the streets. However, we have to accept that uh, a stray animal cannot survive just like a domestic pet animal at home. For instance, a dog can live like 10 years, 15 years at home, but a stray animal not more than 3-4 years. Probably a traffic accident or, or a person will harm it or because of hunger or uh, mostly the municipalities uh, take those animals and dump them to the suburb areas of the city. Not only in Istanbul, but also to the other cities as well. However, we have to accept that for the recent 20 years, people are tend to uh, feed the animals or giving water to them. Even the municipalities change their attitudes. Uh, they try to build shelters. Uh, they try to use billboards or media, just like Boji. And when you, go, when you see the 1980s or 1990s, municipalities have no idea or they don't even care about any street animals. They didn't have a kind of trend or a fashion at that time. I think after 2000, we, we let's say the youngsters or animal defenders, become a little bit power and we used social media, internet, uh, we want to show our mercy. So the municipalities who have been poisoning the animals on the street, on the daylight, have changed their attitude and even they changed their uh, press conferences, their billboards, pointing out that please give water to them, please keep any kind of water bottle in front of your houses, please don't, don't dump them or do not buy from pet shops. So we don't see those things in 1970s, 80s, even 90s. When we come to the after 2000, somehow maybe the new generation affected this. So people have more tendency, not only the pet animals, not only the street animals, but also let's say the carriage horses in the Princess Islands. Turkey is one of the nicest and leading country, let's say, in the world that we don't have any more carriage horses in Istanbul, neither in Istanbul, nor in Izmir, nor in Antalya, nor in Adana. We remove them. But when you see in New York Central Park today, you have still those carriage horses. So we might be an example, let's say, in the carriage horses. Also, we might also be an example on keeping the street animals on the streets. But we have to, of course, give them their comfort. The dilemma comes out from this. If we keep those animals on the streets, do they have to suffer because of our mercy? Or do we have to put them down in order to not to see them suffering on the streets? The, the Western culture prefers the second one. 
They, even the animal lover do not want to see any stray animal or uncontrolled animal on the street. Because when they see it, they become, they, uh, they cry, they become mercy, they become passionate on it, and they can't do anything. So they want authorities to have it uh, leave from their eyes. So when they don't see it, there is no problem. However, in the kitchen part, probably that uncontrolled animal uh, is being put down or atonized easily. So you don't see anything on the kitchen, just like in the slaughterhouses, you don't see anything. So you don't think that there is no harm to cattle, cows and sheep, just like that. So in Turkey, we do the just the opposite. We keep stray animals. OK, we cannot feed them. They are suffering. Most of them cannot even find food. But uh, we don't want them to be put them down or to be killed. However, on the streets, on the autobahns, on the forests, they die somehow. So we try to find a solution for this. And the best solution is uh, stray, neuter, and to return their original place. If we can convince all the municipalities, even the ministry, to this stray, neuter, and return project, I believe that in maximum 20 years, there will be no stray animals on the streets. Not by putting them down, but just neutering. Of course, it needs financial aid, but putting down is not, you know, is not our culture. It's, we don't, we don't, we do not want to accept a healthy dog, a healthy cat. You cannot, you know, decide his utilization because he wants to survive. If you can adopt it from the street, just like, for instance, my dog, we, I adopted from a shelter. She becomes like a queen at home. But on the street, on the shelter, you know, she is miserable. She's suffering from hungry and thirsty. You can see her bones. Nobody wants to, you know, adopt it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can save it from the streets. So we emphasize to the public that please do not buy. Do not buy from internet. Do not buy from pet shops. Just go and save from the streets. That's our culture. Mm -hmm. So many Westerners actually sees that and prefers to uh, adopt these stray animals, even the ones which has no legs, from Turkey or from Bulgaria, Hungary, Hungary, Eastern European countries. So they have more or less not brand, <coughs> brand animals like, like Dalmatian, St. Bernard, Golden Retriever, but typical stray animal which has no brand. You can see those animals in, in Netherlands streets, in Belgium streets, in Germany streets, and most of them are adopted from these countries. Traffic accidents. Traffic accidents, it's, it's the, the, the one of the most. Uh, as far as we know, just in two weeks term, uh, approximately 300 dogs are being injured because of uh, traffic accidents only in Istanbul. Imagine the whole country. They cannot say it, you know. Probably, if half of them dies at sudden, all of a sudden, they are saved. I say that they are saved. But what about the rest, the, 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 the other half? They are probably minor injuries, but these animals cannot go to a hospital, cannot call a veterinarian. They don't have credit card. They, ca they cannot, you know, call a taxi to take them to recover. So they are waiting their death on the next, next to the uh, autobahn next to the road. So one of the main thing is the traffic accidents. The second thing is that, of course, the people. Some of the people, not some of the, most of the people do not want to see them on their street. Maybe one or two in their neighborhood is okay. But when it, when it goes over the, um, over the tolerance limit, let's say, when it becomes, let's say, 10 stray animals, especially dogs, in your neighborhood, even a neuter person uh, calls the municipality and wants them to be taken out of the uh, street. So where do they go? Not to the shelter. The shelters are like prison. Some people who has no idea about the shelter, they think that they are like a luxury hotel. No, it's not like that. The shelters are packed of these stray animals. Most of them are dumped animals, most of them are brand animals, and most of them are because of complaint. So the mayors usually, municipalities usually, take all those animals and dump them to the suburb of the cities. 
not only in Istanbul, also in the other cities as well. So these animals cannot survive or they fight with each other. And in the forest, of course, they cannot find anything, neither even a, a, a glass of water. So they die or they become wild. And uh, what is interesting is that a dog, for instance, living in your neighborhood, uh, when the time passes by, it becomes a social animal. He knows where to stay, how to pass the street, how to stop on the red light, how to pass on the green light. You might have seen these in Istanbul. These are social animals. They are not harming to the people. However, some of them are naughty dogs, just like people, you know. And when they are become naughty, for instance, when they bark or when they ch chase somebody, you know, the municipality comes and takes the, the social one, the innocent one, and takes it to the forest, takes it to the suburb of the city, and that social animal, which stops at the red light, which knows who to get close and who to not to close, cannot survive in that area and dies immediately. And the naughty ones, of course, just like people, he, he knows the way how to escape. He knows the way how to escape from that area. Always the innocent one, <laughs> always the innocent one are kept and uh, pays the penalty. Of course, it is dangerous, even if it's in a, in a public transportation or even if it's walking on the street. There is no difference. But I think it's a very, very exceptional thing to keep that stray animal uh, on the eyes of uh, the people. It's at least a public awareness. It's at least a public awareness. If it hadn't been on this public transportation, probably even you wouldn't have noticed those stray animals. Even a normal person wouldn't have noticed those people. Probably that animal, that boji, is saving his other friends by just creating this public awareness. So I'm fond of that he is on the train, he is on the metro, he is on the ferries, and he is going all around the city. And I thank to the mayor of Istanbul, uh, Mr. Ekrem Imamoğlu, to keeping that uh, dog on the eye of Istanbul all the time. So this is Istanbul, actually. Because when we go to, in the historical time, when we go to the 18th, 19th century, we had stray animals on the streets. Not even to, like today. For instance, in uh, 19th century, in the beginning of the 20th century, you cannot see those stray animals in Western Europe. The animals are only in the palaces, at homes. But in Turkey, we had those animals on the streets and there were people, poor people, feeding them on the streets. You can see those uh, uh, pictures, black and white pictures, in old Istanbul photographs. So the same culture lives actually with us since then, that time. So Boji is one of them and reflecting that history. So we keep stray animals on the strings as long as they live with us. Of course, we have to neuter them. Th this is the first thing. If you cannot neuter them, you know, the population will go up. So I think that Boji is neutered just like his other friends. So we have to decrease the population if we really want to give them comfort. Of course, adapting comes secondhand. Could you see a stray animal in Paris, in London, in New York? No, you cannot see that. You can only see that in Turkey. Maybe you can see it in India, in Pakistan, in those far eastern countries. But this, this animal is on the public transportation and taking the attention of the people. Stray animal has a right just like normal people. Stray animal have right just like trees, just like forests, just like air, just like water. But we humans think that, you know, they are not even a second citizen, they are 34th citizen on the level. However, with this action, he says that we have even also a right in this tram, in this ferry, because before you came, before you populated this city, which is 16 million people, we were living in this city as well, just like you do. So what did you do? You just came here, and we have no friends anymore in this city. By putting 16 people here, by removing all those trees, parks from all over the city, even our friends, cats and dogs and other ones. So we are the only leftovers. We are the only ones who are surviving. And I am going to live not more than two or three years. 
I assure you that you will not see Boji in the next two or three years. He'll probably die somehow. Because if he is not adopted, if he doesn't take it at home, he will not survive. That's, that's true. In a, couple of, in a couple of months, we will see snow, rain, and maybe Boji might leave because it's in the eyes of the people. What about his other friends? We are talking about 100,000 stray animals just in Istanbul. What about his friends? You don't see them in the Taksim Square, in Beşiktaş, in Kadıköy, in the central areas. But those animals, those his friends, are living in the suburbs. So he is defending, actually, his other friends that we do not want to see. But they are living, they are surviving, they are every day in the uh, hands of maybe bad people. They are always, again, they are always struggling with the traffic accidents. Can we survive? Can you survive in China without having a credit card, without knowing a language? Just like it's the same for them. <laughs> it's not only the responsibility of the municipality. People must keep him in, their, in front of their eyes. We have to support the municipalities this action. So it's not the only the, uh, the, the order of the municipality. As people, we have to uh, give our eyes and attention to that, but on his behalf, uh, his uh, other friends living in the suburbs of the city, in the shelters as well. So I think that he has to continue his life as much possible as in a comfort way. It could be in a tram, it could be in a ferry, it could be in a corner of a uh, street. It should live because it's reflecting Istanbul, just like I told you. It's reflecting the like uh, centuries of history of Istanbul. It's the same. Thank you.